Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Well, everything certainly went wrong there, and loving Uncle Loghain left his nephew to die, and the now the, uh, the realm is kingless. We have a serious problem on our hands. Uh, yes, where am I? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Uh, she rescued me? You mean from the tower? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though twas a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Oh well, this is bad. Uh What happened to the what happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Well, this is quite the mess. We've been betrayed by one of the lead generals. The entire resistance army that was trying to fight the Darkspawn has been destroyed, and so has the leadership. So, first of all, the only Grey Wardens in Ferelden seem to be me and Alistair, which is problematic because Alistair's new at this, and I started like a minute ago, well, minus all the recovery time I've apparently had. In fact, the majority of my time as a Grey Warden appears to have been spent bedridden as being someone who's been nearly dead. Okay, uh, were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. What about Alistar? Is he alright? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. You are very unkind. Those were his friends. And you think they would encourage his blubbering? If so, they are not the sort of Grey Wardens the legends note. Well, you're kind of rude, aren't you? Whatever. Uh... Never, none, nonetheless, though, uh... Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I am alive, at, at least. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I will go, then. I will stay. And make something to eat. I want food to eat. Or I, I, maybe she's inferring that it's food for me. Okay, I'll just assume that. <laughs> it cannot be done. All sorts of loot here. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Alistair, buddy, you're a sight for sore eyes. Sure as hell, the only person I've met so far who hasn't immediately died or been taken away from me in some way. And hey, I'm all healed up. Didn't even get turned into a frog or anything. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well, how, how exactly old is she? Because she... Seems far beyond all of the social constraints that people normally put up with. She's just sort of beyond them and done. So that even names are like, eh, I think some people call me this. Alright, so if you're Flemeth, you must be very old and powerful. Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is was our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later, in the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. 
It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? She certainly enjoys being a smartass, huh? Well, the Grey Wardens are no more, so let someone else do it. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not going to throw the... Rep okay, it changed when most of them were slaughtered. I don't want to throw the responsibility away. It's just our chances of success seem fairly low now. If you think small numbers make you helpless, you are already defeated. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Well then, let's figure out what this Archdemon is, but uh... Flemeth, are you going to help us fight? Are you, are you going to help us fight this uh, Blight? You've revived us for some reason, you must clearly be against it to some extent. Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and dark spawn. Well, now you're just lying to me. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the dark spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Well, then let's go find Arl Eamon. I mean, if he's separate from this and he's trustable and he has an army of some sort, then he could probably help us deal with Loghain, who needs to be disposed because he controls the army that we need working on our side. So perhaps we could go to him then. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the lands meet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. All right, but surely there's other allies we could call upon. One force to replace another isn't going to help us when we've already failed up so up to this point. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Eh. Uh, uh, I don't suppose you could offer any more help. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Well, uh, we could use all the help we can get, right? I mean, we don't know who else is going to be volunteering to help us, so I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Huh. Wait, repayment for your lives? Oh! Oh, as a favor to you, because we owe you, so you're giving us your daughter so that we can pay our debt to you. That's interesting, okay. Well, we could use any help that we can get, so very well, we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... Understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? 
I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Yes, I understand. She's, uh... You clearly put work into her because there's nothing else around here. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Well, Alistair's not exactly experienced, so I see no reason why I should give priority to one of you or, or the over the other for feedback, so speak your mind. You may know a lot that I don't. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Like I, I, like I said several times over this conversation, and, or at least in the commentary, we do really need all the help we can get. There's two of us right now. We can't do shit. We will have difficulty against a handful of darkspawn literally just outside of this spot. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Oh, don't be a smartass about it. Let's just get things underway. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Yes, cheery little people, aren't they? Hey, Morgan and Alistair both like me more now. Which is interesting, because Morgan was just sort of enslaved to me almost. Not enslaved, but you know what I mean. She's been assigned to me, so you think that she might be a little sick of me. But she seems to be doing just fine. So right now, of course, we have the Blight. So, ooh, we have a number of things to look at. So, they want us to go to meet Arl Eamon. Gain the aid of Orzammar, which is apparently a dwarven city. Meet the Dalish clans, which are elves. And the Circle of Magi. Oh, we get to go back home to the Circle of Magi. I'm sure that'll play out great. <laughs> uh, they were so happy to see me last time. Well, alrighty then. How about we set out? Crazy, crazy people. To the world map. Oh yeah, I turned auto-saving back on, because that... That big ogre fight, or whatever it was called, made me worried about the idea of restarting a whole area. So here we are down at Flemeth's hut, and we're gonna go up to Lord of the Ring. Or can we go... Maybe we can go anywhere? Nope, we can't go anywhere we want. We have to go to the Lord of the Ring. It's the only one that's lit up. But obviously, lots of locations to go with here. So, I think, if I remember correctly, Denarum is the capital. The outskirts is where we find the Dalish Elves. Redcliffe Castle, that's where Eamon is. Redcliffe Village is outside of the castle. Don't remember Soldier's Pass. Uh, Circle Tower, Circle of Magi, obviously. Lake Kalanhod, I assume it's just adjacent to that place. And Frostback Mountains, I think, is where we find the dwarves. But let's figure out, let's go check out Lord of the Ring, which I assume is the village that she was talking about. Oh, look at that. Little blood smear that shows your progress moving through the area. I actually forgot about that. Oh. Looks like we have some sort of random encounter on our path there. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Oh. 
Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Antigon, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? We've got a fight on our hands. Alrighty then. That previous little scene we saw there was interesting. Because it suggested that, uh, let's see, what am I trying to do here? Let's try to get a good position. Yes. Uh-oh. 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 I missed that opportunity. Okay. Let's try to, my best to not hit any of my allies. With a cone at, ah, they keep moving. You guys are so good at moving around, aren't you? Uh, that, that little scene we saw was certainly interesting because it, it showed that there was people that are already resisting Logan's rule. Not everyone's getting the wool thrown over their eyes. People are clearly, at least to some extent, some people are aware of the fact that this guy's totally full of shit and has turned on his own people and is manipulating people. Maybe he thinks it's for the greater good, but it's certainly a problem. He wags his tail happily and pants. Oh, so it's a dog. Alrighty then. I think this is the Mabari I helped cure back at Ostagar. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. Come on, it's, it's good. More help. I mean, this one's not going to give me much advice. But okay. I mean... Do you want him? You seem to like him, so if you like him, you can have him. Me? I don't want a dog. I can barely take care of myself. So many comments come to mind, I cannot even begin to choose. At any rate, he must remember you helping him back at Ostagar. You're imprinted. <laughs> Lucky you. Well, yeah, I suppose he might be handy. <laughs> Happy bark. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh crap, I have to name him. Naming so much responsibility. Let's name him Goyle or something. There we go. Enjoy your name. I guess. You dog. I probably won't even understand that you have a name now. You got an umlaut because you're extreme. And metal. <laughs> I almost made the mistake of calling him Bark Spawn, but done. that's a... I would just be ripping a name straight out of Penny Arcade at that point. I'm pretty sure that was what they called him in the comic. Let's continue on along this road now that we finish this little mishap here. I've got a new party member. We're all filled up again. And these people look less temporary than all the assholes that died earlier. So let's finally continue on to the village. Wake up, gentlemen! More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh... They don't look much like them others, you know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers! Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. 
I don't know if you understand this, but two of us can basically conjure the elements from our bare hands. <laughs> you should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Y no, I don't think I will. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. You, those are rules you just made up. Do you really want to fight a mage? A mage? Ah, oh, I don't want to be a toad. Nobody's turning you into a toad, you sniveling bastard. You know, I hear a mage falls as quickly as anyone when stabbed. Let's finish this, gents. Let's see how Enemy's fast ahead. you fall when you're on fire. I mean, when you're being electrocuted. Suck it. That didn't work out very well for you, did it? Freaking lightning all up in your face. Huh, how, how do you like that? You like it? You like being all lightning-y? I don't think so. That's right. Oh, his bandits are hanging out behind. Oh, shit. Let's do a quick heal. These two, these sort of, these two sneaky uh, archers were where I didn't see them. They must have run right past me. All right, we surrender. We're, we're, we're just trying to get by before the dark spawn get us all. Before the dark spawn get us all. Yeah, you're scraping by by taking everyone else's money. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> this shoddy operation is pathetic. I could do better. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you die. Jesus Christ. Uh, you follow my lead. I can use some soldiers. I don't, I don't want these people around me. I, I've, I've let a lot of people join in, but not so much. Uh, all right. I'm turning you into the authorities. There aren't any! Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me! Well, that seems to be, uh, pretty much what needs to happen. <laughs> they'll do what they want. Come with me. I'm not going down without a fight! Well, I gave you a chance. That's what you get for preying on the weak all day. You'll ransack the corpses of people who can't pay. No, you won't. See how that goes. I'll ransack your corpses with my, with my morality. What, what did I just say? <laughs> yeah, experience. People leveling up. Speaking of ransacking their corpses, fire crystal, more money. Ooh, a quest for a fallen Templar. They killed the Templar here? We would be a dick about it. All right, so there we go. They didn't even, it looks like they didn't even make, oh, the crates. No, I was hoping for more. Nope, not very much money. Interesting. How long have they been doing this operation? Because they didn't even draw very much money. I mean, they said 10 silver apiece, pre a didn't they? Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Alright, so he's she has family problems. Uh what did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Okay, so Morgan is now being a bitch. Let's see, we should try and use these treaties, I assume. It's the only leverage we have to get more assistance. I agree. Have you looked at them? Yes, I have. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Ar Lehman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Alright, then let's fi let's go find Eamon as soon as we can. And, uh, what do you think we should do, Morgan? Try not to be a total bitch about it like you've been the last few minutes. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. 
Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Yeah. I mean, Alistair does have a point. Where there's currently three of us and a dog. I don't know if we can take down the leader of the entire Ferelden military right now. But let's get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Perhaps we can find some people in town that will help us. We certainly need all the help we can get, is a phrase I'll probably say many times over the course of this series. So we have a camp down here and a town over here. Let's go ahead and wander right in as a farmer. The lack of a name means it's probably not that important. I'll just head over to anything that seems if you're worthwhile. Looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. 